Hey, I feel like I'm shooting after a really long time. I'm very excited to bring to you this video which will feature me trying out some new makeup. Some of it that I have tried a little well enough to give you some thoughts. Is this going to show up? Some I'll be trying new on screen. I don't do that too often but I'm excited to do it and I'll be creating a very natural look just the kinds that I love. So just some basic products but which makes my every day come alive. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Parna Ganesh and I welcome you back to this video. Here I'm going to be trying out new stuff, some new stuff in the market, new stuff in my vanity, things that have excited me, things that have got me curious. They are of different budgets, uh, very doable and um, some exciting stuff there. So I don't want to waste too much time. I want to start off. I want you to know that subscribing to this channel doesn't cost you anything, neither in time nor in money. So just check one second, just pause check if you have subscribed stay tuned on my instagram as well because that's where i share now let me get on with today's product i'm really going to go in the order of how i actually apply makeup uh, i first start off with my concealer and i got this new concealer from mac in this format i'll tell you how i have been using it because this is such a cute one this is uh, nc42 you can see it's a really small one and uh, I have been using this all this while, okay? And this has really served me well. You can see this is almost finished. And I want to see how the NC42 uh, color looks on me. I hope this is not too dark. So I like my uh, makeup to be done really quick. The quicker, the better. And then it must stay long so that I don't have to keep touching up. Yeah, I think this is a good color match because I'm not trying to make it very uh, light. I have always, from the beginning on my channel, been talking about how if your concealer is matching your skin color, it's really going to be uh, looking natural. Okay, let me just put this over my eyelids as well because I'm not heavily into eyeshadows. So on my face, I apply NC42 uh, foundation or powder for Studio Fix, all those things from MAC. I think this is... I don't mind it slightly darker also, but this is completely natural. I'll just do the other side and come back. All right, I did the other side as well. Both the sides are done now. Uh, it is slightly light for me. I feel uh, it could have been a little more natural, but I think it's going to settle. This is an exciting product from Kiro Beauty. Now, this is their new launch. The good thing about using these kind of products from a brand like Kiro is that you don't have to worry when you're using a compact every day and I use a compact every day. They have a sponge underneath it, but I'm not really going to use a sponge. The sponge looks pretty nice, but I will use it with my brush like I always do. And I have tried this shade. This is my shade. So I'm just going to set it, uh, set it with this because you know what I felt about this powder is that it is very finely milled. It is pretty smooth. Yeah, can you see? It has mattified my eyelids pretty well. So this is called Kiro's Botanico Timeless Matte Compact. It's paraben free. It's made with a lot of natural ingredients. So it, it is uh, really nice and it promises to not make your face cakey. Uh, I like that it's not having too much of powdery kickback. Let's go with this. Beautiful match. So I like a product that doesn't show itself too much. I am not trying to get fairer. I am not trying to, you know, be two shades lighter than my skin tone. Let me put it all over my face. It's sitting well and I'm not saying it just from what I'm trying now. I have tried it enough to know that I did like this. So I am in the shade Honey Tan 05. I quite like how this is performed because I think my skin is looking completely like my skin. It's not looking like you know, two shades lighter or something like that. It's just blending in. And uh, yeah, I like this. Another exciting thing that I needed to try was this wonderful brush set that M Beauty came out with. These look quite nice um, visually, of course, and I will just try this. I haven't tried too many of these on my face. You can see the plastic is still on. So I'm going to do that on camera for you. Next thing what I generally do is my eyebrows. So I can see this brush here, which is to take care of the eyebrows. 
works because I think my eyebrows is really important for me to get right. I wouldn't say it's uh, too soft or too harsh. It's just right. It did the job and I'm fine with this. The next one I want to use is this wonderful product from Huda Beauty. It's their Bomb Brows full and fluffy eyebrow product which is so cute it is so tiny and i'll show you how this looks like it is so thin so i will just wear this and show it to you so you can see one side has no eyebrow product oops i'm not used to you long back i used to have one from benefit I think this is looking very natural and nice. I like this. You can see the difference between both the brows. Right? I'll just do this one, this one and come back. So I just applied it here and I think the look is super natural. If you want it starker than this, I'm not sure this is going to give you that. But uh, I, I like the way this is and this is going to stay because it's in liquid form. M Beauty has a whole list of what you can do with these products. What are the brushes meant for? I think I want to use this huge one and just put an other layer of the powder because I want to see how that does. And this is 201. It's so huge. It is so soft. I like the hold of it. I like the quality of this product. It's nice. Okay, so let me just put just on one side I'm going to put this to see what happens because I typically put a very thin layer and I think this powder can do more. Really soft, really nice and I always love these kind of huge brushes to put my powder. So I'm very happy. Off. And if I have a little open neck, I wear this uh, on my neck as well, the powder. And this is a face and body brush, so that's nice. So yeah, I already like this look just the way it is. Many a times I just get out of the house just with this much. But today I am also going to do some more things. This is from uh, Delora Jones. It's a woman-owned brand. This is a beautiful looking eyeshadow uh, product. And I will just show you what this looks like. It's really nice. I think it's very flattering for the Indian skin tone. What I have used from this is um, the mattes. So I'm just going to be using that right now. Just taking a bit of this in this brush from M Beauty. This is 306, their blending brush. Okay, I think the uh, the brush works beautifully, the eyeshadow is working beautifully. I just wanted a monotone and I just want to add a little glitter on this. There is this beautiful bronze shade here that I think I want to pick up. I think I'll just use my fingertips and just lightly press it in. When you want something super basic, I think this really works. For any fallout that could have happened, just take the same powder brush and just lightly take it off. And this is just a very light eyeshadow that I have done and I really like how this is because I like it really natural and simple looking. So you can try this if you wish, if you like the colors that you see. Now, what I really want to use next is this uh, bronzer from Huda Beauty. This is called the Glow Wish. This is in the shade 01 Light. This is their bronzing powder and this really looks nice. It has this marble finish on it. I'm going to use this brush 204 because it's got a nice dome. I like this. I think it will be nice to put my bronzer. Nice, this has hardly any powder coming back. Is this going to show up? Let's see. So it just needs to do a little bit. I don't want too much bronzing. Yeah. 
let's see as compared to this cheek look at this cheek it's very soft the brush is picking up the powder pretty well but i don't think this is showing up any color on my face it's probably a i need a darker shade i don't think this is showing up too much and this is something that i'm really trying for the first time on camera so i'm just going to let it be it is literally not showing anything okay um i have nothing to comment on that i want to go ahead and do my eyes i want to show you this mascara which i have tried earlier and this is not totally new but this is an eyeliner i have been using a lot it's a nyx professional makeup epic ink eyeliner that i totally love and this is one product that i have been using extensively so beautiful black eyeliner i'll just wear this and show this so simple so simple to put and i'm done with this so i love this it stays for a long time i'm i want to tell you each time i'm applying it i'm really liking the feel on my cheeks with this powder that i used of kiro and now i'm going to go ahead and use the mascara that kiro has come out i think the packaging is really nice of kiro because you know they really stand out in the vanity it's their botanical range and i'll show you what the wand of the concealer looks like it's thick and i will just apply this i have used it already of course i have tried out these products because i was very excited and i must tell you that these uh, are very everyday user friendly which is what i like i like it easy i like it quick and which is not heavy on me can you see this it's looking pretty nice and i will tell you that my attempts of trying it out i can tell you it's not heavy on my eyelids I don't know if it sounds odd but I find some uh, mascaras very high, heavy on the eyelid and I feel droopy. So that is not happening with this. So firstly this is called the Kiro Botanico Super Shield mascara with avocado oil and calendula extracts. This is non clumpy, it is waterproof and like I said when I've tried it I didn't feel like you know my eyelids were heavy. I of course don't use false eyelashes my makeup is as natural as it gets. So I am very appreciative of these kind of products, which are very friendly for everyday use. Now this is pretty much what I do. In fact, eyeshadow is an extra for my everyday makeup. But I am going to go ahead and do the most exciting part for all of us, which is the lipstick. And also there is a facial spray that I am going to try. So uh, Kiro also came out with some new lipsticks. I want to try one of them that I haven't tried. So Kiro's bullet lipsticks have been reformulated. They've come out with a new thing like I said. Their packaging really stands out. I like this. Uh so let me show you what this lipstick looks like. This is a new lipstick I have not tried it out, but the color looks interesting. And I think it might go with what I'm wearing today. So this is a shade called Nude Garnet uh 06. Right let me just wear this and I will tell you right away what I feel about the lipstick okay here i go i like how smooth this is to move around my lip like i say makhan the pigmentation is solid It's got a soft matte finish. I don't know what it's meant to be. Uh what finish they're supposed to have. I'll have to just check that. But I find it to be soft matte and I am liking this the way it is. So I think I've tried pretty much all of that. I am going to give you my final thoughts on all these products. I think I would have liked the eyebrow to be slightly darker. Uh I love the concealer. I love the powder. I think the powder is really nice and I have tried it. earlier it is sweat proof it is going to be very good for the summers for sure and you can i like the fact that their packaging is so cool they have provided a separate casing for the sponge so when you're traveling you want to touch up it's going to be very good because if the sponge is kept on the main cake it's no good it's going to not make your uh, product last for a long time uh, what else did i uh, check out there's one more product left which is Bobby Brown's hydrating spray. Uh I always make sure that I use a spray even if I'm just using a powder because I never want it to look cakey and I want that to just kind of 
stay okay so i'm just going to use this you know this mist is so fine i'm so happy that it's not creating those big blobs on my face it's a fine mist and i have used it uh, a few times earlier and i can tell you that it didn't give me any breakout it just set my makeup fine so i really like this product from uh, bobby brown yes so that is my natural makeup look i don't think this is turned out so natural because of the eye shadow if i didn't have the eye shadow it would look like um, how i do it normally but even the eye shadow is not too heavy it's quite uh, it's quite easy going so i hope you like this i hope you like these products these were some of the new products in the market that i really want to try in fact i want to create a whole new series which should be like something like naya dhamaka or um, new hotness can you give me some ideas on what should be my series called what would you like the series to be called it has to be new something which is where i will feature all the newly launched products whether it's lipstick or face products and all of those things okay tell me your suggestions and uh, i'll be very happy to consider them so you have to let me know which of these products really called out to you have you used any of these things are you looking forward to using uh, more of these i think the eyebrow is damn good when you are going to be a completely natural look i think because i put the eye shadow this is looking light this should be darker uh, for this kind of eye shadow but otherwise i'm very happy that's all from me for now take care bye